Well, just days ago during his stop in the Valley, Senator Lindsey Graham compared Tamaulipas to war-torn nations. Take a listen. On the other side of the border, the State Department uh, has designated right across the border as a level four travel zone. You know what gets you to level four? Afghanistan and Syria. But I know a woman agrees with that statement. She is among hundreds of families whose loved ones have gone missing. Channel 5's Frank McCaffrey with her story and what Mexican government leaders are doing to stop it from happening. This woman says the reality is too close to home. A family member was kidnapped. She lives in fear. There's still dangers. There's been massacres, kidnappings. There's been everything. She says she keeps her family under house surveillance. They can't leave. One kidnapping for her family was enough. There's been a lot of younger women kidnapped. Many women continue to be kidnapped. She wants to know what the authorities are doing to stop it. It's a crime that runs so deep it's become a part of Reynosa's fabric. People no longer talk about it. They don't want to say anything. Channel 5 News reached out to the office of Tamaulipas Governor Francisco Garcia Cabeza de Vaca. A spokesperson for the governor says Tamaulipas is the only state in Mexico working with seven agencies from the U.S. to cut down on crimes such as kidnappings. But he still says it is a problem. Yes, we're working on that to decrease. We're working on another area that's very important, strengthening state authority. In the last two years, it's increased 1,743 officers. He adds Tamaulipas ideally wants to have 6,000 to 7,000 state police, but in 2016, they were assigned 3,000. The anonymous woman tells us that she just hopes something can change. Any Dalgo, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News.